Hey everybody, it's Laura with Laughing Dogs Book Nook. I'm here to uh, make my second video ever of a gardening book I just finished, and it's all about container gardening. My daughter wanted one. She's taking the leap of going from having nothing but faux plants to having a few real plants, and she's very excited about mothering these plants. So she wanted somewhere to write it down. So I just wanted to share with you what I've done. I'm using Cartabella papers. I love those papers. I just found them. And I have some leaf trim here with a little flower, a prima flower. And this leaf is wonderful. It is a, I don't know if it's a velveteen, a chenille. Um, it's from 32 degrees north designs. They do have an Etsy site. And they're wonderful. They have a lot of different things that I love. Uh, I love shopping there. And then this, of course, is a little piece that I made for Katie. Hi, Katie. And uh, I embroidered it so that she would have a little something of me here. So opening up, we're a little stiff because we're new. And I completely covered the inside with the green gingham as well as the outside. And I made her a bookmark, which is something I thought of from my husband because he's always jotting things down while he's reading. And so I made her a bookmark that has a pocket. So when she's reading books, she can jot down if there's another book she wants to read or somebody in the, in the story she wants to look up. So on this bookmark, I've just put her a bunch of wonderful uh, stickers from the Cartabella line. She loves mid-century modern. She thinks this is the funniest face of all, if you can see that. And then I have made a copy of the signature of my grandmother, Violet Briggs. And Katie looks just like her. And Violet loved to cook, and so does Katie. So this is just a little bookmark. Make your own darn dinner. That sounds like me. <laughs> and of course, life is too short to say no to cake. That is for sure. That should be our mantra. I have a couple of, um, what do I wanna call these? Time, time cards here in the big pocket, which is some um, wonderful vintage wallpaper from Gina Johnson at the Rebookery. Hi, Gina, thank you. Uh, love buying her wallpaper, it's wonderful. And then a little uh, card from the Cartabella line. And this, of course, is my favorite of all graphic because you know me and dogs. And here's a dog making friends with the cow. And that is also a pocket. So she'll have plenty of pockets here. Here we have the um, first if you say the dashboard of the book. I have a couple of little cards in a pocket and another one over here with a Pictionary card. I've used all the um, original binder um, dividers from the 1959 House, uh, not House Beautiful. I'm sorry, I can't remember the name of it, but uh, it's a gardening book from 1959 and these are the original and I love using the house plants because of course she's doing container gardening, which of course is this beautiful picture here. I have several of the original pictures throughout. I also have the Friendless Puppy can, um, complete book, little golden story in here. And uh, again, just a few pictures. I've put her some poems in because I always love to put poems in my, in my books and they have such wonderful graphics. Here we have the first of the fold-outs where she can put a little photo. You know, I didn't give her the credit that she'd know where to put the photo. I had to put photo here. And then just write down the name of the plant and all the particulars. I've also done her a envelope for each one. If she wants to put the stake that comes with the plant, I'll put a tag of my own in there. Um, stake or if she wants to put in some receipts or just even some ideas and notes she's jotted down and here we have another pocket with some different things I love this I'm not beautiful like you I'm beautiful like me and then they talk about that awkward moment when you want to laugh but it's completely inappropriate okay I think that may be the story of my life 
and you just have a guest check and a, another piece of original ephemera and then a playing card that's a flower. We go on to vegetables. Uh, just the colors in these, I hope they come across. They're just gorgeous, these original pictures. Here's that little puppy still trying to find a friend. I'm not sure the sheep are going to want him. And different kinds of containers if she wants some ideas for outside, not just inside. And another poem. And we have this wonderful 1950s terrace with all the different container flowers in it. Another place where she can uh, write about her potted plants. And this second area has uh, its own uh, envelope where she can put things. And of course we come to another pocket that has uh, just a flash card and one of my tags made with love. I have a little sewing going down that side. And then a library card my mama always said dessert first, you bet, and then a tally card to go with it. And some more beautiful color. Love the color in these, it's just outstanding. Oh, now we've moved on to the pigs to see if they'll be our friend. Nope, he's pushing him out. Here we have some pots and shade in a hurry you know we need that in texas we just found out my husband just told us that beginning next tuesday we're jumping into the 100s and we're going to be in the 100s all week next week so i have to hurry and get my gardens in so we need that shade in a hurry but we need it to move around with us wherever we go and this is what i need right now i need a pool <laughs> too bad i don't have enough backyard for it have another flip out there and we have another, and you know, I didn't say before, but every one of the envelopes has a picture of a um, um, bonsai plant. And this one was just planted, and he's just showing in this series of photos how to cut it into the bonsai shape. So we have some more original ephemera here, maybe. <laughs> the 40 cents, teaching the children how to count money. And there's a library card with a couple of stickers. One of the little stickers that comes with the pack and then a playing game playing card. And coffee first, you know, that's me every morning. Don't get between me and my path to that coffee maker. Whew, that could get ugly quick. Uh, Katie's favorite flower is the tulip, so I had to put that in. Oh, even the mice are turning him away, poor little puppy. Got some more beautiful planters with the 1950s pots and another poem for her. And you know, these planning the car approach, I didn't realize until I'd finished the book, I have about four of these in here. I never knew people went to so much trouble to plan where their driveway was gonna be. There was only one place our driveway could be and that's where it ended up, amazingly. We have another envelope here with another bonsai plant. And just another pocket with some pieces in it. I love the artist, that's so cute. And a little tag and library card and then another flash card. Ignore our mess, we're making memories. Boy, that was the truth when my kids were little. We were too busy having fun to be just completely spick and span. Some succulents, that is what she is growing right now. So I thought that was completely perfect for her uh, for her book. And apparently the geese and the chickens don't want that poor little puppy either. Here we have Rock Garden and another, another poem. Beautiful color, rich, beautiful color in these. And some, I've been doing some sewing throughout. I have not said anything about that, but each piece has some sewing on it and each envelope has some sewing on it. And we have another beautiful bonsai here. This is also, this is handmade paper, and it has leaves in it. And if we could just flip back one, this envelope has a white, I don't know if it's gonna show up here, it has a white handmade paper, and this long piece right here is a bit of the inner uh, bark. Not the outer bark, but the inner bark and they've put that into the paper. It's just wonderful, and I love having things that are tactile. Um, 
that you don't just look at it, but you interact with your journal and you can feel the different surfaces. And so as I was saying, each envelope has a piece of this handmade paper, either the one that has the bark or the ones that have the leaves in it. And I just love that. And we have one more pocket with a few things in it. We have an old maid card, which we just love that. And my favorite graphic with the cow and the dog. And then a guest check. We have another wonderful potted plant. And we have some beautiful color over here. I know I always wear my pumps and a dress when I'm gardening in the yard in the 98 degree heat. <laughs> well, the puppy finally found somebody to love. So he is with the goat. We have a happily ever after there. I just love this final page. I had to put it in. And uh, wonderful backyard piece there. And here we have some more of that leaf paper, which is three-dimensional, and then and a trough garden. And then we have a layaway sticker with the library card. We have a brown flash card and a plain card. And it says service with a smile. And I just put this on the front page that you usually tear off of the um, of the the paper stock paper pad. I just put it on the front page of it and uh, gave her some room there to put a little guest check pocket back here. And she currently works at a French bakery, so I put that in for her. And then I made her, sometime my awesomeness amazes even me. And just another day in paradise. But I made her a little book that she could take notes in favorite memories. It's just a tag that opens. And I have given her the paper that came with it so she can write whatever she wants to. And on the back here, I did one of the plastic uh, mailing pockets. And this is also some of that antique wallpaper that's so wonderful. And I did her a couple more of the time cards so she could uh, have more room to write on there. And uh, so that comes to the end. And again, it's the green gingham. Thank you all for listening and watching. I appreciate it. And I uh, hope you've enjoyed this. Have a wonderful day. Have a sparkling day. And we here at the Nook say so long until next time. Bye.